Good day, everyone. It's me, Teacher Charmaine, your mathematics teacher. Now we are on the part two of our lesson about money in Thailand. Let's read the morning conversation. Please listen, read, and repeat after the speaker. Dialogue 1. About my country. 1. What is the name of our country? 2. What was the former name of Thailand? It was Siam. 3. What is the current capital city of Thailand? It's Bangkok. 4. What was the first capital of Thailand? It was the Koh Thai. 5. Why is Bangkok named the Venice of the East? Because of the many canals. 6. How many colours are there in the Thai flag? Three colours. They are red, white and blue. 7. What is the national religion of Thailand? Is Buddhism. 8. Do you love your country? Yes, I love my country. Sawadee. Let's have a short revision of what we have learned about money part one. Bullet one. Money is something used to buy goods and products. Bullet two. Baht and satang are the currencies used in Thailand. Bullet number three. Banknotes are money made of paper. Bullet number four, coins are money made of metal. Let's have some review quiz. Let's check if you remember what we have learned last time about money part one. Question number one, what is money? Money is something used to buy goods and products. Number two, what are the currencies used in Thailand? Baht and Satang are the currencies used in Thailand. (laughs) 
Number three, banknotes are money made of blank. Banknotes are money made of paper. Number three, blank or money made of metal. Coins are money made of metal. Now let us read and spell the following vocabulary words. Money M O N E Y Money Currency C U R R E N C Y currency income I N C O M E income value V A L U E value Satang S A T A N G Satang Bat B A H T Bat Total T O T A L total difference D I F F E R E N C E difference vocabulary money currency income Value, satang, bat, total, difference. Now let us learn about bat and satang. Always remember, there are 100 satang in one bat. When we write the amount in decimals for bat, the number before the decimal point is the amount of baht. For satang, the number after the decimal point is the amount of satang. Always remember before and after. Here's an example of baht, the number before the decimal point. So you have 100.50 baht. 100 is 4 baht. Between numbers 100 and 50, you will see the decimal point. Now for satang, the number after the decimal point. So look at the decimal point. Next to it is 50. That is the satang. Now, here are the examples in writing bat and satang with decimal point. So, the first example we have 1 bat 25 satang equals 1.25 bat. Next, 100 bat 50 satang is equals to 100.50 bat. 
50 baht and 75 satang is equals to 50.75 baht. 25 baht, 5 satang is equals to 25.05 baht. If you only have 75 satang, you will write 0 0.75 baht. 5 satang equals 0 0.05 baht. 420 satang is equals to 4.20 baht. And 105 satang is equals to 1.05 baht. Now let's have some exercises about baht and satang. Exercise 1. This can be seen on the top part of page 89 of your student books. Exercise. Write the following amount as baht. We have example for number 1. 17 baht, 50 satang, is equals to 17.50 baht. You will have 3 minutes to answer this exercise. Exercise number two. It will be seen on the bottom part of page 89. Write the following amount as bat and satang. Or we can easily say write the following numbers into words. There is a little bit of mistake for number one. 
we have 21.25 baht. It is written as 21, 1, and 25 satang. Please cross out the O and E word, the one word, and change it into baht, like what I did. So here's another example, number two. 261.25 baht. Write it in words like this. 261 baht and 25 satang. You will have 5 minutes to answer this exercise.
Exercise number 3. It can be seen on the top part of page 90 of your book. Exercise. Write the following amounts as decimals. We have example for number 1. 75 satang is equals to 0 0.75 baht. You will have 3 minutes to answer this exercise. Exercise 4. It can be seen at the bottom part of page 90 of your book. Exercise. How many satang are there in each of these amounts? There are two ways you can answer this question. So we already have answered number 1. 5.75 baht is equals to 575 so there are two satang. Ways to answer this exercise. So the first one, always remember that one baht is equals to 100 satang. So if we have five baht here, so you will multiply that with 100. So 100 times five is 500. So five hundred plus seventy five there we get five hundred and seventy five satang so the second way to answer this is using the decimal point so you have five point seventy five but 
just move the decimal point to the left okay so we will get now point 575 do not copy the decimal point just write 575 and then sit down that's it i hope you understand so you have five minutes to answer this exercise
Now class, here are the summary of our topic for this day. There are 100 satang in one bat. A decimal point is placed between bat and satang. Example, 1 bat and 50 satang is equals to 1.50 bat. Denomination of Thai banknotes are 1,000 baht, 500 baht, 100 baht, 50 baht, and 20 baht. Denomination of Thai coins are 10 baht, 5 baht, 1 baht, 50 satang, 25 satang, 10 satang, 5 satang, and 1 satang. So that's it, the end of part 2 about money in Thailand. I hope you enjoyed and understand our lesson for today. Stay safe everyone!